Today we will see an easy way to find the edges of the groundwater vein. You can see the bore well and you can find gibbon coming from one end towards the bore well. Wherever his rods have crossed, for him the rods cross, he is marking a point with his legs. He is crossing the bore well and finding another deflection or cross where he is marking another edge. So, this is the second edge of the bore well. In so some people the rods deflect. Now, he is standing at the first place again and then moving in a zigzag manner from the point where he has started and wherever the rods are crossing or deflecting, he is marking those points. So, he is moving in a zigzag manner just like a snake and all those points he is trying to mark them with his foot. So, I have shown it in my earlier video that in order to identify the edges of the vein, you have to walk in a zigzag manner just like a snake and wherever the deflections are there, you have to mark those points on ground. Now, in this way, when you get the edges, those points which are marked are the edges of that particular vein. Now, you go on to the other edge of the vein and start the same exercise by just moving crisscross or zigzag or like a snake and then marking those points where your rods deflect or cross as per your program of that particular rod. In case of Jibin, his rods cross when he is on the edge of the vein. In this way, you have to identify the second edge of the vein. So, from the bore well, it is always a good practice to start delineating or marking the edges of the vein so that you are sure as to how the veins are moving. Now, wherever the marked points are there, on that you can keep bricks, wedges, stones or any material which will show these points clearly and in this way you can again cross check whether the points which you have marked and kept the stone or brick are correct or not. So, you can again check it with your L rods whether these points are correct or not. In this way you have to delineate or mark the both the edges of the particular vein which the you, you, are, you are trying to identify. After that you can say from the each brick to the brick you can delineate a line and mark it with the help of the chalk dust. Once you have marked them the edges with the chalk dust then automatically this you can visually see as to how the vein is there below the ground. Now, this exercise is important from the point of view of training so that automatically you can visualize on ground that for a bore well the edges of the vein where are they and you can see how the bore well has come exactly on that particular vein and from where the vein is coming and which are the edges. So, in this way it is very easy to delineate or mark the wedge edges of the vein groundwater vein on ground. So, that is the exercise we should you should carry on before ven venturing on an actual bore well site. Thank you very much.